everybody, it's Paige, and today's video is going to be my updated everyday makeup drawer. I like to go through and switch out the products in my everyday makeup drawer, which consists of these two drawers in my filming table about once a month, and yeah, that's what we're doing today. I'm going to show you guys what was in here, what I'm taking out, and then we're going to go over to my makeup collection, like the majority of it in those Alex Nine drawers over there, and then pick out some new stuff to put in to use for the next month. So if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy, and let's go ahead and get started. Here is an overview of what my current everyday makeup drawers look like. If you guys haven't seen my previous videos, I will link my everyday makeup drawer playlist in the description box. It's sort of like an ongoing series. So as always, I am starting with the left drawer. This drawer consists of mostly face products, and then the other drawer has all of my eye products. So these first two containers here, which by the way, these containers are from like Marshalls, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, that kind of thing. Um, I have powders. So this first one is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. By the way, please excuse my nails. I need to go get them done, but that just hasn't been a priority for me recently. So um, I got some good use out of this the last month, so I am going to take that out. I also got a lot of use out of my one size powder. I actually purchased this at the very end of 2020, and I actually really like it. It's really good. Um, it's really clumpy and weird, so the texture is a little bit odd to me, but it actually looks beautiful on the skin, but I got a ton of use out of it, so I do want to try some other things this month. I also have my Huda Beauty powder in here, which this is my go-to. I absolutely love it. I have it in the shade Pound Cake, but one of you guys actually told me that the translucent shade has no scent, so I really need to get that one because the scent is very strong on this, um, but I love this. This is my second one of these, and I always keep it in my everyday makeup drawer. Back here we have concealers and setting sprays. At least that's what it's supposed to be. <laughs> the first one is the Milani Make It Last setting spray. I actually got a ton of use out of this this month, and I really like it. It's nice, but I do want to switch it out, so I'm going to take that out. I did sort of neglect my other setting sprays that are in here. So um, this Fourth Ray Fresh AF spray, it's like an energizing mist. I don't have much of this left, so I want to keep this in here to use it up. Same with this Lila B, Lila B A Glow Face Mist. I have like three quarters of this left, but it is a smaller product. So I do want to keep that in here as well, just to try to use those up. And then we have oh, a ton of concealers. We definitely don't need this many in here. This is the Hourglass Vanish Concealer. This is one of my all-time favorites, but it's been in here for quite some time now, so I am going to take this out. I'm also gonna take out my Pat McGrath Concealer. This is another really good one, but I do want to switch up my concealers quite a bit. Um, I have these e.l.f. Camo Concealers. Again, this is something that I got some use out of and I have a ton of other concealers that I want to play with so these will go back. I do want to keep um, the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in here. I only used it like once so um, I definitely want to keep playing with that. Also this Revlon Color Stay one. I think I added this later on. Maybe not, um, but I don't know. I think I used this once maybe but I definitely want to keep this in here to try it out some more. And then I have the Milani Conceal and Perfect Longwear Concealer, and I just, sorry, this is not focusing. <laughs> I just don't think that I really like this product, but I'm going to keep it in here one more round, and we'll see how it goes. Over here we have primers and foundations. I have these two Milani primers, which um, I actually got quite a bit of use out of the hydrating one. I only used the chill out one once, but I love this hydrating primer. It's amazing, but I am going to take these out to try out some new products this month. I'm also going to be putting back the e.l.f. Jelly Pop primer. Um, 
I, I like this overall, but it's definitely not my favorite. And I've gotten quite a bit of use out of that. I totally did not use this Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas Primer this month, so I am gonna keep this in here. As for foundation, this Hourglass Stick Foundation is definitely too deep for me, so I'm gonna put that back for now. Um, I used this Laura Mercier foundation once, and it was really nice. It is a little bit more of like a natural finish, not super full coverage foundation. Um, so I think I'm gonna put this back for now. Uh, I didn't get a chance to really try this Makeup Forever foundation, so this is going to stay in here. And then I don't think I used this Wet n Wild. Did I use this product? Maybe once? I don't know. Uh, I guess I'll keep it in here. Over here we've got highlighters, blushes, and bronzers in these two containers. Starting with highlighters, we have this Ofra highlighter in the shade Star Island. I freaking love this highlighter, but I actually just ordered some new ones, so those are on the way. I am going to put this back in my collection, but I freaking love this highlighter. I'm going to go ahead and swatch it. Normally I don't swatch stuff in these videos, but I just like... I can't believe it's taken me this long to realize how beautiful this is. So, um, I am going to be putting that back. Also, by the way, if you guys ever shop on the Ofra website, um, I will have my, like, link and code in the description box. You can use code PAGE for 20% off. That is an affiliate link. I just joined their affiliate program, so I do make a small commission if you decide to use it. So, no pressure at all, but just wanted to throw that out there. I'm so excited about it. This is my Becca Opal highlighter. <laughs> this one can also go back. I got some good use out of that. Um, this e.l.f. highlighter is in the shade White Gold. And I didn't use this a ton, but I am going to put this back for now. This is the NARS highlighter in the shade Fort de France, um, or Fort de France, I don't know. <laughs> I did not use this one time, uh, this rotation, so this is going to stay in here. And then I have a couple of blushes in here. I have this Patrick Ta blush in the shade She's Passionate. I only used this once, and this is a gorgeous color, so I'm actually going to keep this in the drawer. And then I have this NARS Orgasm Blush, which is absolutely stunning. It is one of my favorites. And mm, I think I will put it back. I actually don't know if I used the NARS one this rotation, so I'm going to keep it in here. <laughs> this is the Laura Mercier blush in the shade Fresco. This is a gorgeous nude natural blush. I did get a ton of use out of it though, so I am going to put this back in my collection. MAC Peaches is one of my favorites. I got a ton of use out of this this month, so I am also going to be putting this back. And then I have these two e.l.f. bite-sized blush duos. I got so much use out of this top one. The shade is Watermelon, I believe, and it is amazing. Like, I love it. Um, I highly recommend these. They're very inexpensive, and they're really nice quality. However, I am going to put them back in the drawer just because I've had them in here for like two months now, and I've used them a ton. I have the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer in here, and I'm actually going to be putting this back because I have a new Physicians formula bronzer that I want to put in here so I know they won't both fit in here so this is going back in my collection but I do love this product same with this Maybelline city bronzer I got a ton of use out of this I love it but I do want to try to switch things up a little more so this is also going back in my collection I have this Kaleidos um, charisma contour palette I didn't get a ton of use out of this but I actually am going to put this back in my collection and then I have this little mini Fenty bronzer which is is so cute I only used it once this time around it's in the shade shady biz and I really like this bronzer so um, whoops I am going to keep this little mini Fenty one in here as for lips I'm going to fast forward going through those and then I'll show you the ones that I'm keeping in here versus the ones that I'm taking out
For lip products that I am putting back in my collection, we have the Revlon lipstick in Untold Stories, MAC lipstick in Snob, and this NARS lipstick in Belle de Jour. I'm also putting back this Buxom lipstick in the shade Heartthrob. It's so beautiful, but I need to switch up my lip products some. I am putting back Alamar Cosmetics Birthday Suit along with the NYX Butter Gloss in Fortune Cookie. I am putting back this e.l.f. Plumping Lip Gloss in Champagne Glam along with this Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Pearl. And then I'm putting back the Kylie Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in All Yours. Um, or no, no, One Wish, and then the NARS Whipped Matte Lip Product in All Yours. As for what I'm keeping in here, I am keeping three MAC lipsticks. We have Cream Cup, which is a repurchase of mine. This is a really pretty pinky kind of color. I'm also keeping Blankety in here. I love this color. This is becoming one of my favorites. And then we've got MAC Honey Love. I'm keeping my KKW Beauty lip liners in here. We've got this Koki liquid lipstick in the shade Nirvana. I'm keeping the Dominique Cosmetics Lemonade Lip Gloss in Sweet Tea along with the Buxom Lip Gloss in the shade Erica in my drawer. Then we have the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm Cream in the shade Fenty Glow. And then last, I'm keeping the Charlotte Tilbury Dance Floor Princess and the Wet n Wild Skinny Dipping Lipsticks in here as well. That is everything for the first drawer. Now we will move on to the second drawer. Once again, I'm just going to speed through the mascaras and then kind of show you the after. Okay, so the mascaras that I'm keeping in here, this is going to be a lot because I just have way too many open mascaras right now. Um, we have the Sephora Size Up Mascara. I have the L'Oreal Air Volume Mega Mascara. L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. The new Morphe Mascara. We've got the Pat McGrath Fetish Eyes Mascara along with the Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara. The NARS Climax <laughs> Mascara. Um, we've got Maybelline Illegal Length, we've got Pixie Large Lash Mascara, uh, Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes from Charlotte Tilbury. I think I might take out this Urban Decay Mascara and I'll keep the e.l.f. one in here. I'm also taking out this Morphe Lash Primer because it was horrible. <laughs> For primers, of course, I'm keeping my MAC Paint Pot in here along with my P. Louise base. I'm also keeping my brush that I apply my MAC Paint Pot with. Um, I'm going to keep this NYX uh, like brow glue in here. I added this later on, but I really like it. I'm taking all of these products out. Sorry, I'm trying to like... <laughs> I'm like rushing and I don't know why. I'm taking out the Pero Primero Primer from Alamar Cosmetics. I'm also taking out these two clear brow gels. We have the Glossier Boy Brow and the Morphe Clear Brow Gel. And then I'm taking out this e.l.f. brow pencil, the Benefit Micro Filling Brow Pen, and the ABH Brow Wiz. I'm going to keep my Pat McGrath um, liquid liner in here along with these three brow products. We've got the Arch Brow Pencil from Hourglass, the L'Oreal Brow Styler Definer, and the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. This ABH Clear Brow Gel is empty, so I'm going to put that in my empties. I'm going to keep my Roller Eye Bright, Bright Pencil in here. I never use that, but I need to. And then I'm also going to keep my Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit in here as well. Lashes, I'm just going to keep the same because I haven't worn lashes, but I definitely want to wear some lashes soon. And then finally, we have palettes. I'm keeping the Morphe 35 XO palette in here. I have not gotten a chance to use that yet. I'm also keeping this Nicole Guerrero and ABH Glow Kit in here. I used this like twice, but I definitely want to get more use out of that. I'm also keeping the Omrezy palette in here as well. I didn't get a chance to use this this month. 
The nudie number two from Laura Lee Los Angeles is like literally my favorite palette at the moment, so that's why I'm keeping it in here. I'm also keeping the ColourPop Cloud Spun palette in here since I did not get a chance to use that. And then I want to keep the Berries by Juvia's Place in here because this is absolutely stunning. So that is saying. And then I always have this in here. This is the Lumi Bronze It from L'Oreal. I haven't used this yet and I keep putting it in here because it doesn't fit in my bronzer section and I keep forgetting to use it. So I'm going to put this in here and I have to remember to use it. Same with this Wet n Wild uh, Reserve Your Cabana like bronzer type product. Everything else I am taking out. So we have these, oops, Alomar Cosmetics products. We have the Complexion Trio and then two of the Blush Trios. These are beautiful, but I just need to switch things up. I'm also taking out the NYX Diamonds and Ice Palette. This is freaking amazing. This shade in particular is my favorite. Uh, but once again, I just want to switch out the products. I didn't get a chance to use the Laura Lee Los Angeles Sleigh Bell palette, but I'm going to go ahead and put it back for now. Um, I did use a few shades from this mini Leela palette from Natasha Denona, but it's going back. This ColourPop palette and this Huda Beauty palette are also going back into my collection. And then we have the Hearts of Nude from with Love Cosmetics. This is such a beautiful palette. Um, like, I freaking love this palette, but I just want to switch this out a little bit more, so this is going back as well. Our drawers are much more empty now, so we have some room to go grab some new products. Here is an overview of everything that I'm taking out of my drawers. And now let's go ahead and head over to my makeup collection. To start off, I already have a couple of palettes that I want to add to my drawer. I have the Urban Decay Naked Wild West palette, which I just posted a review of this. I will link it down below if you haven't seen it yet. And then I also have the Tartlet Juicy palette or something. And I also have a video using this. It was a trying new makeup video. Um, and I'm going to add both of these to my eyeshadow drawer, but I want to go through these few drawers here, which just have a bunch of new products in them. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and start. I definitely want to try this Sephora foundation very soon, so I'm going to pull that. Um, I can't, I should not open up a new mascara right now. Um, but I will add this e.l.f. Ride or Die Lip Balm and this Nabla Viper Lip Plumper. This highlighter from Makeup Revolution is stunning and I love the packaging. I'm definitely adding this to the drawer. And then I'm also adding this Hourglass Bronzer. This is in the shade Luminous Bronze Light. For primer, I want to grab... I think the uh, Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil. Um, I used this Cover FX Primer recently, which is very oily, and it, it was interesting. Um, and it reminded me of this product, so I want to grab that. And then I think I also might do this Rimmel Stay Matte Primer. I bought that for a specific video a long time ago, but then I never filmed that video. <laughs> um, Mmm, is that it? I guess that's it for now. For foundation, um, let's see. I could do this uh, Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydromaniac product. I recently reviewed that. It was like a first impressions review type situation. And then maybe we'll try this Morphe one. It might be really old, but <laughs> we're gonna give it a go. For concealer, um, we have quite a few options. I'm gonna grab this Juvia's Place concealer. Um, should I grab a Benefit one? I haven't used a Benefit one in a really long time. I'll use shade number three. I guess I'll grab this CoverGirl concealer. I haven't used this one in a while. For powder, I want to grab my Too Faced Peach Perfect powder. I freaking love that product. And then I'll also do, I'll grab this Rimmel Stay Matte 
um, powder, pressed powder. For bronzer, this is the one that I was talking about. This is the Physicians Formula Matte Bronzer. So we'll grab that and we will also grab this Charlotte Tilbury Duo. This is like Superstar something. No, Filmstar Bronze and Glow Duo. Here's what it looks like. And I'm also going to grab NARS Laguna for blush. We have all of these options. I actually have an Oprah blush. This is in the shade Cosmo. Oh my goodness. Would you look at that? That is bright. Maybe we'll save that for summer. I'll grab this KVD Vegan Beauty one. I feel like I haven't used that in a while. Um, I also just recently bought this Sublime Flush blush from Hourglass. This is beautiful. I'm going to grab that. And then this Nabla one is also new to me. This is beautiful. It's in the shade Truth. And then we've got highlighter. Um, I definitely want to add the ones that I ordered. I ordered Rodeo Drive and Glazed Donut from Ofra. Um, but I'm going to look at the ones that I have and see if there's any others that I want to add. I think I'll do this one, which is called All of the Lights. This one's really pretty too. This one is called uh, Beverly Hills, but I think I'll keep that one in here for now. I'm actually going to grab um, some liquid highlighters this time, which typically I don't do, but I've been having a lot of fun with liquid highlights. So I think I'm going to grab this Kilowatt, or no, no, Watts Up highlighter from Benefit. And then I think I will also do this little Marc Jacobs one. This is in the shade Do You. And then we'll also do Venus from Lunar Beauty. I'm going to grab this palette from Hourglass. This is the Ambient Lighting Edit Ghost. I think this is from 2019. And then I will also do this Laura Lee Los Angeles Glazed Palette. For setting spray, I'm actually going to grab this Cover FX Dewy Finish setting spray that I got from TJ Maxx. It's just a little mini and it's actually really nice. I don't really need any new brow products, but... I might grab just like a brow gel. This one's from Laura Mercier. Moving on to lips. This is my lip gloss drawer. I definitely want to grab this Morphe lip gloss that I used recently. I actually just got it. It's in the shade Frolic and it is so pretty. I actually might want to grab another Morphe gloss. This one is beach goals it's like a really pretty champagne color this is the lifter gloss from maybelline in the shade reef and then we'll do mark jacobs sugar sugar i think i'm pretty much good on lipsticks um i might grab this little ah uh, charlotte tilbury one if i can open it um yeah i think i'll pull this this is the sexy lips that's all it says on the label um but I haven't used that in a while, so I'll grab that. And then I think I'm pretty much good on lipsticks. And then for, oh boy, liquid lipsticks, I am going to look through these. I think I just got this ADH one in the shade Naked, and I haven't used it yet, so I will grab that one. I also have these Carly Bible Ill Maquillage lip products. So I like never use these, but I'm going to grab this gloss. It's in the shade Twilight. And then I'm also going to grab this Lunar Beauty liquid lipstick in Daydream. Last but not least, we have eyeshadow palettes. So like I said, I already pulled those two. Um, I actually was thinking of grabbing the Bling Boss palette from Jaclyn and Morphe. That's a really pretty palette that I haven't used in a while. Um, so I am going to grab that. And then... Let's see what else we got. I have a ColourPop palette in there already. Maybe I'll add another Huda Beauty palette. Maybe like this medium nude one. Yeah, this is so pretty. So I'll pull this one and then maybe like one more. I don't really have much space in my everyday makeup drawer for eyeshadow palettes. I actually think I'm not gonna grab another one and I'm gonna keep it at that because I realized I also have these face palettes to add. So here's everything. I'm gonna go ahead and organize it into my drawers and then I will show you the finished product. I grabbed a few too many things. They didn't all fit. So this Charlotte Tilbury, Lunar Beauty, KVD, and Benefit product don't fit in here. So I am going to put these back. 
but my updated everyday makeup drawer is complete I'm gonna show you guys what the drawers look like so here we have powders concealers setting sprays blush bronzer highlighter foundation primer and lip products we have eye products like mascara and brows and primers lashes tools miscellaneous and then face and eye palettes so that was today's video i hope you all enjoyed if you did please don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up i love you guys so so much i hope you all have a wonderful day and i will see you in the next one bye